As reported by German and some Ukrainian media Kraus Maffei Wegman Company offered to sell 100 modern self-propelled 155 MPZH 2000 howitzers to Ukraine. The cost of the contract, which also includes staff training and a spare parts package, is 1.7 billion euros. But there is an important drawback. KMW will be able to deliver the first 30 SPGHs to Ukraine, only 30 months after signing the agreement, i.e. not earlier than 2024. Execution of the entire contract will be extended until 2027. PZH-2000 howitzers are truly high-quality weapons, and there is no doubt that they can be useful to the armed forces in 2024, but for a country that is currently fighting for its existence, this proposal looks like outright mockery. Germany has consistently blocked arms supplies to Ukraine, justifying itself on the grounds of political expediency. Recently, Germany refused to sell surplus BMP Martyr to Ukraine. Currently, it's slowing down the issue of transferring the armed forces of the decommissioned Leopard 1A5 tanks, about 100 units, and the Jeopard anti-aircraft guns, about 50 units. At the same time, German companies are ready to sell military equipment to Ukraine. The supply of surpluses will not affect the defense capabilities of Germany itself, and it is possible to train the crews of the armed forces for these armored vehicles fairly quickly. All that is lacking is political will.